Hi, I'm Dan Martell, serial entrepreneur, investor, and creator of SaaS Academy. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fall back asleep or get to sleep when your mind is racing. And be sure to stay to the end where I share with you my five productivity hacks that'll help you double your energy and focus without changing anything you're doing in your day. I know what you're thinking, why are you talking about getting to sleep? You're the software business scale guy. Here's the deal, I'm an early riser. Uh, that was not always the case. I used to be a night owl and then I had kids and that changed everything. So my schedule now had a human alarm clock waking me up at 6 a.m. So I said, you know what, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm gonna get to bed early. And usually I wake up around 5 a.m. or a little bit earlier. And one of the challenges I have is um, I do a lot of activities with my entrepreneurial friends in the early mornings. And many times when I go to meet with them, they uh, text me and say, well, ideally they text me, sometimes they don't, and they're like, hey, I can't make it. And it's usually because they didn't get to sleep till one or two in the morning. Their mind was racing. It actually happened to me this morning with one of my best friends. Uh, I woke up to a text message he sent at 1.38 in the morning, said I haven't been able to get to sleep. I don't think I'm gonna make our 5.30 a.m. run. So I figured I'm gonna do this video to help you because I struggle with that for many years. I have an ADHD mind, it's racing, I'm always doing cool and interesting new stuff which doesn't allow me to kind of like park things and over the years I've had to figure out a solution to do it and it comes down to these five steps. Step number one, prep it. Prep the sleep, get a routine created. Now you've probably heard this before but I'm gonna tell you some of my top tips. Number one, no drinking. If you wanna drink during the week, just know that you're putting your sleep at risk. Number two, no devices at least an hour, if not an hour and a half, 90 minutes prior to your sleep. There's blue light, it uh, messes with your melatonin in your, in your body and you wanna make sure you're not looking at screens. The other thing is, uh, I use a sleep mask. I'll link up the sleep mask I use below on Amazon because people have asked me. I got it from my buddy Ben Greenfield as a suggestion and I use a white noise maker. Uh, the one I use is the Binaural Beats app on my iPhone. Uh, I put my iPhone in airplane mode so I don't have any um, antennas or wires going around and that to me if you can just set up the environment and then the big part is don't work in your bed. You're telling your mind that when you go to your bed that you can do work or other stuff. Um, your bed should be for sleeping. Any work you want to do, do it at your office, do it on the couch um, and prep the environment. Step number two, dump it. It's in here, your mind's racing, you've got all these ideas, these to-do lists, these commitments, people you need to circle back with, and you think that you're uh, okay and you're gonna remember, and what's happening is your brain keeps saying, I don't trust you, I don't believe you, and what the easiest thing to do is get out of bed and just write it down, dump it. So I sleep with a notebook and a pen next to my bed, and if I ever feel like I'm getting in the mode, even though I have a habit at 7.30, 8 p.m. every night to essentially plan the following day, review my list of outcomes, goals, and projects, so that typically doesn't happen, but if it does, if for some reason, I'm like tossing and turning about some major project I've got coming up in the next couple of months, I'll just get it out and dump it down on the, on the paper, and that'll allow me to stop focusing on it and potentially getting back to sleep, but you gotta do these other steps as well. Step number three, breathe. Now I'm gonna give you a framework. It's called the 4784 grid. I just made that up. Uh, it's, it's a meditation breath, but uh, the way I think about it, it's kind of like four walls of a room and I'm gonna teach you real simple. It's four seconds in, hold your breath for seven seconds, breathe out for eight seconds and do that four times. So if you think of like a grid, it's in for four seconds, hold it for seven, breathe it out for eight. That's one side of the wall. Do that again, boom, another side of the wall until you do it. And literally, if I just sit there within 60 seconds, I usually fall asleep. Some people talk about counting sheeps. I actually taught my little boys to do that. I personally just do the breathing exercise. And if I've done everything else, I've dumped it, I've set the room, um, then usually the breathing will get me to sleep. Now, if it doesn't, I've got a few more steps. Step number four, no phones, no TV. It is way too easy to pull out your phone, take that off airplane mode and start checking Facebook, checking your emails. Maybe you're like, well, I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna send myself an email with these lists. There's a reason I use pen and papers because I don't want the interactive device. I want the capture device, two different things. So make a commitment that no matter what, you're not gonna jump back to the TV or phone. 
Step number five, and this is a big one, is read. I use a reading, uh, I read with a nightlight, or sometimes I use my Kindle. I'm still undecided if the Kindle light has blue light in it, um, but it's usually a last resort if I go through all the uh, previous steps, and I figure if I'm gonna lay there, I'm, I'm gonna at least get some good reading in, and uh, the funny part is I usually fall asleep within two or three pages. Uh, it's actually unfortunate because it's taught my brain now that whenever I read, I get a little sleepy, but uh, it's just kind of my nighttime routine. When I'm not looking at a TV or my phone, I'm usually reading. So if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll just read on my side and then typically fall back asleep. So have a book next to you, uh, maybe your Kindle, but the key is don't read any nonfiction. Anything that could get your mind racing again uh, is a no-no. So that to me, those are the five steps to really get things going. So quick recap, one, prep it, prep your room, prep your process of getting to bed. Two, dump it, if it's in your mind, get it out of there, put it down on paper. Three, breathe using the four, seven, eight grid, go around the room, those walls, breathing in and out. Four, no phone, no TV, that's not a negotiable. Five, if you're gonna be up anyways, do some reading. As I mentioned, I want to give you a gift. It's my five productivity hacks to double your energy and your focus throughout your day without changing anything you're probably doing today. So click the link below in the description, download that, implement one at a time, do it for at least 21 days, and then add the second and circle back, leave a comment, let me know how that goes. If you like this video, be sure to like, the uh, button there, click it to subscribe to my channel. And if you can think of somebody, share the video with a friend. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week. 10 years ago is when I bought my first pair. Yes, yeah, I've been wearing the same shoe for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs>